If you love me, I gotta work for the both. Welcome to Mrs. G's Living. I am Mrs. G. On this channel, we focus on beauty, fashion. So in today's video, we have three reasons to purge your closet for ushering in new items. So if that's something you're interested in, please stay tuned. So the first reason you should definitely purge your closet because sis, sorry to say this, you are no longer wearing the items. The items in your closet you haven't worn for several years. It may be because you, for me, you've gained a few pounds, um, your style has changed, or it just doesn't meet your overall needs. You don't run for it. Now, there's an exception to this rule. The exception to this rule is, is for formal wear. Not every day we're going to weddings, not every day we're going to banquets, not every day we are going out to party. So in that case, your formal wear you can have for years to come because without wearing it, because those kind of items require for you to actually have a special event to go to. But for your ordinary, everyday, smeggler clothes, like going to work, going to run errands, going to the gym, you should be purging them before you bring new items in. So I have purged quite a bit of items from my wardrobe. Why? Because I'm no longer the size that I am prior to. I no longer wear it. It may have holes in it or I just want to donate it so it can benefit somewhere, someone else. Now, there are some cases where I will keep certain pieces, even though it may not fit me or I may not be wearing it now. Um, those cases is because as you know, with trends or um, with clothing, they tend to come back in style. So number one reason to purge your closet, sis, you really not wearing the items no more. It serves no purpose, no purpose. purge the closet. Number two reason to purge your closet is that is that it's refreshing. I know that when I go through my closet and I pick and choose things to stay and my closet is less cluttered or has less pieces in it, it is so refreshing. It is so easy for me to find clothes that I want to wear for work or I want to wear to run errands or I want to wear to go out with my husband. It is just so refreshing to actually have uh, clothing that I'm wearing on a daily basis instead of clothing, I, clothing that I'm preserving for um, just preserving just to have in a later date I may wear. So number two is because it's refreshing. And so number three, the reason you should definitely purge your closet because, you know, if you're on this channel, we like to shop. I don't like to judge people. We like to shop. We like to look good. We like to be presentable, especially as a black woman. We live, oh, happy Black History Month before I forget. But especially for a black woman, you know, we have to keep, we, we tend to have to keep our aesthetics together. You know, I like to have new things. I like to try on new things. I like to see new things in my closet. So therefore, because I like those things, I am definitely going to purge my closet because I don't want to keep ushering in new things and not um, being able to actually have them fit in my closet. And I kind of want to appreciate my wardrobe. Like I want to have pieces that I am gravitating towards, pieces that I find um, just suit my body. So. So the first part is going to be the luxury items that I actually purchased. So the first thing that I purchased, and I have a story to go with this, but I'm not going to, you know, run my mouth because my analytics show that y'all don't like me when I'm running my mouth. I purchased these beautiful vintage Chanel earrings. I have been on the hunt for some Chanel earrings, and I knew that I wanted them to be, oops. I knew that I wanted them to be oversized and just obnoxious a little. Just and I wanted them to be vintage because I prefer the um the gold tone or the gold hardware from back in the days. And I just love these. Now, of course, if you know Chanel, um, they are clip-in earrings. They don't typically back then they didn't have pierced earrings, which I am, you know, earrings that you have with pierced ears. I am perfectly fine with that. I found this um, airing back stud or cushion to kind of help with it. But 
they are kind of weighty but they are not uncomfortable on the airs and i just love them fast story i purchased them re i purchased them from the real then i was like oh you know when you second guess your purchase you're like yeah, i don't really need them so i returned them and if you know the real you pay for shipping both ways so i returned them and i could not stop thinking about them so i repurchased them again so this is a sign to you sis if you see something you want just purchase it so you can stop thinking about it just 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 just, just go on and purchase it don't be like me don't be like me and like just purchase it so the second thing I, thing I purchased, there was missing, I felt like there was something missing from my handbag collection. And what I felt that was missing was a backpack. And I had been on the hunt for this Prada backpack for some time. So another story, I feel like I have a story for everything. So this is not the first Prada backpack I bought. I bought a Prada backpack in um, the during the holidays for myself for Christmas. And I know D to the L shipping company stole my package. All of my other packages that came from Amazon, that came from Walmart, that came from Zars, all of those packages were there. The D, D to the L, because I'm not trying to get sued in these streets, was the only one that didn't come. They were the only ones that didn't ring my doorbell and I was home. So I feel like, and if you ever go to this D to the L, this is the rant. Do you know that they search your packages? So I actually had to return something. The seller only would return it through D to the L. And they go through your package. And this would explain why they have security, why they are known for one of the worst shippers ever. So I told myself moving forward, if I need to purchase something and they only offer D to the L, I am not purchasing it from that seller. So this is the product bag. Now, I bought this from eBay from a Japan seller. As you, if you don't know, the Japan sellers, they cannot um, to sell counterfeit products. So, um, and this, this person, I've shopped with them before and they have great reviews. So this is the bag. And I just love it. The first bag I had was brown. This is of the, the that D to the L stove. This is actually um, khaki, which I love. It has the brown and silver hardware. It has the two pockets. Now, of course, because it's pre-loved, there are some wear and tears on it. The first thing I did when it came was I threw it in the wash and probably not the best best choice but I feel like for the material it held up well so there are some issues as far as like this is the only issue that I encountered with the drawstring but otherwise I just love this bag and I don't have many backpacks this is probably one of maybe three backpacks this is the only luxury backpack that I have so those are the two luxury items that I purchased so the next thing that I purchased and I actually purchased this pre-loved and I was back and forth whether I wanted to purchase it or not because it is by a brand or the owner of the brand that I don't associate with. So I bought this beautiful patent leather crushed um, trench coat. Now, patent leather, if you didn't know, patent leather is in. Patent leather is in. It is all the rage. That is what's coming for the spring. It Patent leather is in. Now I bought this pre-loved, I bought this from Poshmark and this is from the Good American um, brand. It is in a size large and I just feel like it gives just matrix vibes and I'm here for it. I do not have anything in my collection that even comes close to this. I have no patent leather um, kind of jackets, just love it. It fits so well. And I got it for a good price. I believe I purchased it for, um, $40. And when I went online, I think the, the, um, the actual coat was going for like a hundred dollars or more. Of course it couldn't be a Mrs. G's living. If I didn't go to Zars, I went to Zars to return something. And of course you can't just go to Zars and return stuff because the lines are long. I feel like they do that on purpose so you can shop. Kudos to you, Zar. You got me again. Kudos to you. So in the theme of patent leather, I was actually looking for some patent leather boots and they were going to be from Zar. So there are a few patent leather boots that I have my eyes on. And so I just happened to be in Zars and returning something. And I saw these in the sale rack. Now I purchased these for $30 
and the original price was 129 the only difference between these and the ones i see now one these are thigh high and i was just shocked that it fit me so it's made of like it has a stretchy material so it actually fits over my thigh which is unheard of and the only difference is the heel so these are block heel the ones that they have online are more of a skinny heel which you know for $30 I am not complaining whatsoever so these are my I got them in a size 39 because I'm a size eight and a half and I was just happy to get these because I'm not going to wear my patent leather boots every day and I feel for course per wear for um, $30 it was definitely worth it so the next item that I purchased, because as I said, I was purging my closet, purging my shoes, purging everything, is that I bought these rain boots from Zars. Now I do have some Hunter boots that I plan on selling because I wore them once and they rub against my calf and left a circle. And even now that I have like the socks for it, it's just the memory of it hurting my, um, my calf. I can't wear it so I need to sell them so those are the only rain boots that I have so when I saw these if you know these are right up my alley I love the neutral color I love the beige color of it and I just love them and they were for a steal so I ended up catching them I believe for $17.99 and I bought them in the same Zars that I bought those and I'm just in love because they are if you have rain boots I'm sorry that rainbows are so uncomfortable. I feel like they are so uncomfortable and they don't keep your legs or your feet warm. In these cases, they have actually cushion in the insole and they are like walking. They're like having Ugg boots. That's all I'm going to say. It's comfortability is like having Ugg boots. Next item is from Zars, but it is a pre-loved item. Now, this purse came out a few years ago and I remember going to the Zars store and seeing it and picking it up. But then putting it back because I was on a no spending, no buying period. So from that time on, I have been looking for this purse and it has been going for whenever it becomes available. It's been going for an astronomical price. Now, I did pay double what it was worth a few years ago, but to me, it was worth it because I could not get this back out of my mind so it's the geo tribal print bag i know if you are a diehard zars fan and you shop there you know this bag was when it sold out we were all upset and we were sir i know i was searching for it in the pre-love and i regret that i put it down when i was actually in the store so i ended up buying it on poshmark um from a seller um, it, it's in a decent condition and I just love it. I just feel like it just adds a pop of color to my wardrobe and I just love everything about it. Um, it kind of reminds me of like, I am never going to get, um, I've been looking at the Dior totes and it's just like, one is too much money and it's just not my vibe. So I prefer to just settle on this because it gives me that vibe without the price tag. So the coveted geometric tote bag from Zara that came out a few years ago, I finally end up purchasing. So from Zara's, these shoes were actually out last year and I was hoping, crossing my fingers, they would go into the go on sale. And they have not gone on sale. So I just bit the bullet because when you like something, you might as well just buy it because if it goes on sale and, and sells out, which has been the case for me, I'm annoyed by that. So, so it's been these sculpt, um, sculptured flats. Uh, I just love it. It looks like artwork. Now they come in boots, but I know me and I'm not going to wear heeled boots to work, but the flats I can get on board with. So they retail for $99.90. Now I got this in my usual size of a 39 and they are slightly big. So I end up going down a size to I believe uh, 30, I think it's 37.5. 
and the 37.5 was just too tight. So what I'm going to end up doing is just put some insoles in the shoe because the 37.5 was too tight and I prefer that the shoes be loose than um, it being fitted and me have to break them in because I'm not going to wear these shoes every day. But oh my God, look at the sculpture. I just love everything about it. Okay. So moving on, we don't have many more stuff that I purchased. So... I have been looking for an Aaliyah t-shirt for as long as I can remember. I love Aaliyah and I could not, like I've been searching everywhere, Walmart, Forever 21, the typical places you find graphic t-shirts. And I found this beautiful Aaliyah shirt. Oh my God, just look at it. Now I actually bought this from Walmart, but it was a private seller. And just look at baby girl. Look at baby girl. Look at the swoop that we know. Like if you grew up in my 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 um if you grew up in my time frame or grew up in my generation, just look at baby girl with the swoop, the red lipstick, the red detailing. I just loved everything about this shirt. The one thing I could say about the shirt that I didn't love is that it comes in teen size, whatever that means. I, I junior size, so I wasn't paying attention. So I got my typical large, and that thing could not go over my head. So I end up getting it in a 2X, and it fits me perfectly. I was thinking about getting it in a 3X, but the 2X is perfectly fine. So also because it's Black History Month, of course. I wanted to support the people in Target because, you know, Target tends to celebrate Black History Month as they should. So I end up getting this beautiful cobalt blue um, sweatshirt and I have actually styled it. You're going to see like a shorts in me styling it for Black History Month. Now it was 40. No, it was $25. I got in a size large and it is from Black Boy B. So Black Boy B, and I'm always here to support local artists. So yes, I just love it. It's very soft and the um, graphics are very detailed and just, I love the pop of color. I have been wanting, I have actually liked the Bottega bags, but I feel like they are just too, every day plain Jane for me to spend that much money on the Bottega bags. So I found a dupe at Amazon and especially because this is not the normal color that I would typically buy. I actually bought this dupe from Amazon and it was $25. And what I can say is that it is actually in good condition. It was packaged well. It was packaged so well. It still has like the stuffing in it. It doesn't look cheap whatsoever. The hardware inside looks great. Just everything about this bag I enjoy. And because I'm a tall girl, it fits me great as far as a crossbody bag that I bought as a dupe from Amazon because Amazon will have all the dupes. Are these Loewe dupe glasses? And... Of course, I was going to not pay the $350 because I am not a sunglass wearer. I like sporadically, I have sunglasses, but I'm just not a connoisseur of sunglasses at all. So I kind of wanted to try the trend without spending that much money. And so this is how it looks. Now I bought these on Amazon. They had three in a pack. I believe for $17.99, which was a steal. So they came in red, black, and white. And I definitely, I'm glad I tried it, but I will not be keeping them. One is because they're extremely narrow on my head and I know I have, you know, a quite size head, but they're kind of narrow on my head. So they kind of give me a headache. And then I don't like the fact that I can't really see through them. It's like these slits right here and I just feel like I cannot see. And the last thing I want is to not see. <laughs> so these are probably going to go back. And so we just have two more items that I added to my wardrobe that I felt like I needed. The item is that if you don't know, it is Ugg season. <sighs> like it is Ugg season. And I do not have no, I do not have like um, shorter Ugg boots. So I actually bought the shorter Ugg boots from Nostrum Rack. 
I ended up purchasing them for $100 in a size eight. And I feel like I just needed a neutral, like um, shorter Ugg boot in my life. Like I have a taller one, but um, I don't have any short Ugg boots in this color, in this chestnut color. Last but not least, I went to Old Faithful. And before Sam, um, before Sam Edelman, before, um, what's the other one? Sam Ellerman before Steve Madden, there was this place on Nine West. So let me take you back. Nine West was my spot back in the day. It was many a girl spots back in the day to buy boots, shoes, the latest trends without breaking the pocket. Now Nine West no longer has brick and mortar stores, but they still are active online. And so when I saw these boots, I wanted to purchase it. Why? Because I was looking for some thigh high black non-patent leather boots. And it's very difficult for me to find even knee high boots because you know, my, my calf, I have a larger calf. I have a larger thigh. My ankles are very small, but everywhere else is large oversized. So when I saw these, I was skeptical, but then I, I'm the type of person that when I buy boots, I look carefully. So these are the boots. Let me just show you. Aren't they sexy? Look at them. So one thing I look for when I'm buying boots is if they have some kind of wiggle room for me to adjust. And these did. So they not only do they have the, the buckle or the belt for me to adjust, but they have this slit at the side. So I kind of figured these was going to fit me well. And I didn't realize how well they would fit me. So the original price, original price was $149.90. And, you know, Nine West was having sales, discounts because the weather is changing. I ended up getting them for $60 and I love, love them. I love that they are this one inch heel that I can walk in. Now I bought them, I always buy my um, boots in a size up. So I bought these in a size nine. I'm at eight and a half. I just love having the extra wiggle room just in case I want to wear the dreadful socks. I hate socks. Um, but you know, so just in case it's cold outside, I need to wear socks. I always go up a half a size, but these were definitely worth the price. I do not have anything besides the patent leather ones that I bought from Zars that, um, that, anything in my closet for it so those are the items that i ushered in if you like videos like this please like subscribe join the tribe i am mrs g for mrs g's living peace we are out